Hey, Brad Tragic here. Uh, just did the update. So I thought I'd do a video real quick. Uh, basically, I'm going to talk about movies right now. Um, my library, I'm going to do a little show and tell on my little crappy bookshelf someday. Uh, probably over the weekend and show everybody what that looks like. Nothing to brag about. Like I said, I don't have very much. Uh, but I have seen a lot. I do have a lot up in this brain that I've seen and heard a lot of music, so there you go. And I know people are wondering, like, well, you told us in your last video, your 14 fucking bands, that you search YouTube. Yes, but in order to search YouTube, I have to know names of bands. So I put in certain bands, and I get more bands that I've never heard of, so there you go, that's how I got Cryptic Howling and uh, bands like that. But let's not dwell on music, because that's not what this video is about. It's about movies. So, let's talk about some movies. Um, so my library basically consists of anything that I really, really, really like, or it's like a dollar a piece. Or a decent good price. And I haven't seen the movie, and I know it's a good movie. Um, now, saying that, if it's not a good enough movie to keep, I will eventually get rid of it. But if it is good enough to keep, then I'll just hold on to it. But most of the time, I end up buying movies and selling them because they're not worth to keep. And then later on, I realize, oh, well, maybe they were worth good enough to keep. Case in point, I have Super Troopers for the second time. <laughs> uh, Super Troopers, super funny movie. If you haven't seen it, holy shit. It's like, I had it, I needed money really bad, I pawned off a bunch of DVDs, I threw it in there to get that extra, you know, buck or whatever, at the pawn shop, and now after all these years, you know, after you know, three years I didn't have it, uh, uh, People were making comments, and I would think about comments when people would say stuff. And I kept thinking about that meow, meow. But the cops talking back and forth. Yeah, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to check it out. It's really, really funny. They're sitting there having a conversation with each other, and conversation to the guy, and the guy randomly saying meow to uh, the person. And <laughs> the guy in the car is just like, did you say meow? No? Are you sassy, me boy? <laughs> it's really, really hilarious. So, yeah, definitely check Super Troopers out. That's one of those movies that ain't gonna leave my, it ain't gonna leave my collection ever good, because that's, that's way too funny. Another movie I didn't think it was that funny is Malibu's Most Wanted. And people call me B-Rad sometimes because of that movie, and I had to go buy it just because people were calling me that. So... And I got it, and it's like, this movie's fucking hilarious. It's like, I watched it on TV, but the one that didn't do it justice. You got I think you had to have the cussing in it. So I think it's funny, because, this is, I don't know, it's just good. <laughs> and there's phrases in it, but I can't think of them right now. But this is really funny. Uh, so if you haven't seen Malibu's Most Wanted, it's uh, Jamie Kennedy. Uh, I know, Jamie Kennedy's a funny movie. Yeah. It, it, it's actually really good. It has some other people in it, too. I think uh, Anthony... Yeah, the big black dude. I can't think of his last name. Yeah, he's in it too. He plays one of the criminals that uh, takes uh, Jamie hostage, B Red hostage. Uh, there you go. There you go, that's the way. What basically happens is they take B Red hostage, and his dad is a big politician. So they're trying to get him to turn back to be white. So, because he acts like a you know, he talk, acts like a black person wearing baggy pants. He's acting like a rapper and stuff like that. But, yeah, that's what it's basically about. They try to kidnap him and turn him to stop acting that way. There you go. Uh, intermission. I have to blow my nose. All right. Allergies are kicking my ass. Uh... Yeah, those are two really good movies. Uh, another movie, I pro I'm probably going to talk about this a million times, so if I do, 
forgive me, it is my favorite movie. Uh, Strange Land, uh, check out Strange Land, a D starter. Basically about him uh, over the internet inviting people to his house for a party and he'll assume uh, his name on there is Captain Howdy. So if you ever hear references to Captain Howdy, that's where it comes from. Uh, you don't really hear too much about this movie. It's really, really a good movie, though. Uh, you have to sit down. You have to watch it, like, all the way through. And once you sit and watch it all the way through, you're just like, I think at the end, you're just like, ooh. I mean, a lot of shocking parts happen, you know. You see half the movie, and it's done. But, you know, there's, it's, it's a really good movie if you watch it all. And basically about him asking him to come to a party. They go to his house. They end up getting, you know, handcuffed and you know, strung, strung up and uh, tortured, uh, and he keeps them kind of, I guess, kind of like pets, I guess, uh, that's what happens, uh, you want more of the story, there's more to that, so check it out, it's really, really good, uh, it's an odd movie, but, and it worked well a sequel, but there's some, uh, trouble with, uh, the, uh, what do you call that, the people that help distribute you, and people who, who, uh, Help give him money to produce the movie. I think there's just a few things they have to finish off on it. Uh, stuff like that. So, if they get that going, it'll be a second without. Okay. <sighs> really, really tired. These people on my shirt are wearing me out. Uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, really, really good movies. Uh, the Wrestler, it's also a really good movie. No one's ever seen that. If you're really into wrestling, you're probably really going to like it. If you're not into wrestling, you might not like it too much. Uh, but definitely, if you're a wrestling fan, check it out. Uh, Mickey Rourke does a terrific job. Uh, another movie is Domino. I haven't finished it yet, but what I saw, that looks pretty fucking cool. So, uh, I, I can't. I think Kira Knightley and Mickey Rourke's in that too. Uh, really good movie. Uh, Heard a lot of great things about it. Got it for a dollar at price books, so couldn't uh, complain about that. Uh, Machinist is also a really good movie. It's one of those movies where it makes your brain go <gasps> explode. Uh, by the end of the movie, you're like, what? You know? Uh, so it's more of the movies you have to pay attention to. So, yeah. Another movie like that, which I wouldn't buy it. Machinist, I wouldn't buy it either. It's okay movie, but it's not the best. Good story, though. A lot of those movies like that, I'm not going to buy. Uh, I did have Fight Club for, like, the longest time. But then I, uh, after a while of thinking about it, I was like, ah, I'm not going to really want to watch this, and when I do want to watch it, it'll probably be on TV. So, I got rid of it. Another movie to check out. Well, check out Fight Club, too. Brad Pitt. Okay. Edward Norton. There you go. Uh, the movie we check out is Memento. Memento. M-E-M-E-N-T-O. Not Mementos. Not like the candy. Memento. Really good movie. Kind of like that too. So he goes backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. Throughout the whole fucking movie. It's really annoying. Uh, but I have a movie. You think you understand it? I had to watch it. I think. After I, I, I rented it. Yes, back in the day when you could rent videos. Uh, from a video store. Now we got crappy red box. <laughs> or Netflix bullshit. Uh, or on the band now, I guess. Gotta keep it the times. Uh, but I had to watch it a second time because I didn't get everything that happened. Because if you don't pay attention to it, you're just gonna be like, what? Because I remember watching it and at the end, the killer ended up being somebody. I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? So I had to go back and watch it, and then it made sense because he makes a reference to him, uh, I think, in the middle of the movie somewhere, and then but you don't get any more talk about him until the end of the movie. So it's really fucked up. I don't know. Check it out. Uh, wow, I started to watch something last night. I don't even know what the fuck I was watching. Uh, <laughs> is this sad? Uh, movie called Begotten. I don't. I don't. I was watching this one chick uh, on YouTube. I don't remember what the name was. Name is. Uh, I may I may give her props uh, here in the future because she has some guts watching these videos. I'm telling her now because I was watching some guts on this movie and 
Uh, it was disturbing. It's not that it's scary. It's just disturbing. It was, it's in black and white. And basically, the whole entire part of the movie that I've seen was, it looked like, it's supposedly it's supposed to be God, I think, like cutting himself with a razor. And it's, he's just taking it in and out, in and out. And then he starts pulling like stuff out. And so like that, it was on his body, but cutting himself and pulling stuff out. So it's really disturbing, and it looks like that's all it's doing. So it makes you kind of wonder. It, it's like all black and white. It looks all weird, and there's no vocals. There's nothing like that. It's just showing what he's doing. It's really fucked up, and this chick is completely fucked up that was reviewing these movies, and she talks about crazy movies all the time, so... I figure, like, well, how bad could it be? Yeah, it was pretty bad. So, if you ever see Begotten, I would stay away from it. Uh, unless you want to see some really fucked up shit. Uh, yeah. No vocals at all. No, nothing. Just picture. Uh, it does say some words at the beginning. Uh, talking about what's going on. Kind of. Not really some like poetic phrases and stuff and then away we go God slitting himself to death or itself to death I guess you could say uh, I think it, they do act like I think it is a woman I don't know, you figure it out you watch it you tell me uh, I saw I was streaming it online somewhere uh, yeah I don't know pretty creepy stuff <clears throat> but yeah uh, I'm a huge fan of Friday the 13th movies. Uh, a huge fan of Halloween movies. Uh, so any of them, you know, I love Halloween. I love Friday the 13th. I invite anyone who hasn't seen the originals to go back and watch all the originals. Friday the 13th story is pretty fucking amazing. If you go back and watch all the movies, they are actually pretty good. I got my wife interested in it, but she's not really a horror fanatic. But she liked the story. I think I've progressed, you know. Uh, starting out Crystal Lake, and then, you know, Jason takes a trip to Manhattan. I don't know how that went, but anyway, they just follow along with the movies. It's pretty cool. You know, once you get to Jason X and everything, it gets kind of ridiculous, but I still love him. It's still Jason, so there you go. Uh, yeah. And Freddy vs. Jason was pretty horrible, but... <laughs> in Halloween, you know, go back and watch the original Halloweens. They're a lot, lot better than, you know, the remakes that... I love you, I was hoping to death. But, uh, not as good as the original. Nothing is ever as good as the original, half the time. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. I don't like Freddy Krueger. You won't hear me talking about Nightmare on Elm Street hardly at all, because I'm not a fan. I don't see the whole point why people like him. I think the movies are boring, to be honest. So you can critique that all you want. The comments down below. Subscribe up above. Hear more of my empty rants about movies in the next Movie Madness, which this just was. I didn't even tell you. Yeah, that was a Movie Madness video you just watched. Ha ha ha. Another one somebody mentioned, I've been watching a, a good guy to watch. If you're into movies, check out Cinema Sickness. Check him out. Uh, look him up. Uh, he has a bought and watched show, so if you can't find him under Cinema Sickness, type it bought and watched. And you'll see that he has a show every single day. I mean, that's pretty fucking awesome for a YouTube channel. It's got to be hooked, you know. He basically, you know, buys DVDs and VHS or <coughs> <coughs> any movie-related item or a soundtrack. And he talks about it. He talks about what he likes, what he doesn't like. Uh, he's a collector, so a lot of times he'll buy shit he don't even like. So there you go. Uh, check him out. He's really good. Uh, he's the one who got me into this movie called... Or he was talking about Lady Killers the other day. So I, that is actually a good, good remake. But he said it's actually a good remake. So I believe it. He's, he's pretty kick ass. So there you go. Lady Killers. If you haven't seen that, Tom Hanks and George Clooney and some other guy. Yeah, they're really good. It's a really good movie. Kind of weird, though. It's a good movie. Good song, too. Song about them, boys. <laughs> anyway. Alright. Red Tragic. Movie Madness. September the 1st. Hell yeah. Yeah.